So today we're gonna be diving into a LMG build. Yes, an LMG build, which I haven't really played with LMGs in a long time. But I ended up getting this beauty right here and I tell you, this thing is an absolute monster. And I've been having a lot of fun playing with. Not only does it look good, but it actually handles pretty well. And I was able to take out some heroic um, rogue agents pretty easy. As you guys have seen in this gameplay, I was able to just maneuver my way get into position and able to drop them just with DPS, no skills at all. And it was actually pretty good. And I really like this weapon so far. And I think a lot of you guys might like it. And you might actually like how this build is spec'd out. Now, one thing you guys will know about this weapon, it does naturally shoot kind of slow. So with this build, we're able to increase that. So without further ado, let's dive into the build itself. So off the bat, we are running the gunner class. We do have 726,000 armor and 333,000 health. So let's get into the weapon we're using, which a lot of you guys probably have questions about. So we have the M249 Bravo. This thing is a slayer, 130,000 damage. It does have 660 RPM because of the way I have it spec'd out. Now we do have a 100 round mag on here and if I wanted to create, put more of a mag, I could, but I wanted to go with the rate of fire and I'll show you that in a second. So we have LMG damage maxed out, damage to targets out of cover maxed out, and then we have 6% damage to armor. And then for the talent, we have Frenzy. For every 10 bullets in the magazine capacity, you gain 3% rate of fire and 3% weapon damage for five seconds when you do reload from it empty. So that's why you don't wanna have a huge mag on this. Now I do have critical hit chance on the scope. We do have 5% rate of fire versus the extra magazine capacity. We have 5% critical hit chance on the laser pointer and then on the muzzle we have 5% critical hit chance. Now this does have a skin on there called the Joyride. Now this is one of the ones that we got from one of the seasons, I'm pretty sure, and it makes the weapon just look that much better. For the secondary, I am pairing it up with one of my favorites, the Exotic Scorpio, the Shotgun, which is one of those that you can use with any build itself. So how do we get that rate of fire up? Well, we are running a three-piece striker battle gear set. We have the two-piece for the 15% weapon handling, which also works really good with um, LMGs. And then we have the three-piece, which gives us that 15% rate of fire. Now on this piece right here, we have weapon damage, critical hit damage, and then a critical hit damage mod. We decided to go with all reds, probably throughout the build. So for the chest, we have the Cheska chest, which gives us that 10% critical hit chance, which we don't have a lot of critical hit chance on the LMG itself, so that helps out. We have weapon damage on here, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and then a critical hit damage mod. Now I do have a Obliviate, and what that's gonna do is give us critical hits, increase total weapon damage by 1% for five seconds. Now this does stack up to 25 times. That means we can have an additional 25% extra damage on this build, and that's why I really like it. This chest piece is far from being maxed out, so we can actually increase the amount of damage we're putting it out with this build. For the holster, we have the Striker Battle Gear holster. This is our second piece. This gives us weapon damage and critical hit chance. Now, I'll show you my critical hit chance at the end, and my goal was to be around close to 55%, and we almost got there, so I'll show you that in just a second. For the third piece of Striker Battle Gear, we are running the knee pads. This gives us weapon damage and critical hit damage. For the gloves, obviously we're gonna run one of the best gloves in the game, contractor gloves because this is going to give us 10% LMG damage rate, weapon damage, damage to armor 8%, and then 12% critical hit damage. So ideally these, if you're going to run an LMG, you should really be running the contractor gloves as your one piece for that LMG damage. And then for the backpack, we have the Grupo Soma backpack. This gives us that 15% critical hit damage. We have 15% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and then 12% critical hit damage mod. Now I put Vigilance on here, increase total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage disables this buff. You can run a lot of different talents. Um, ideally, I wanna get the most amount of damage with this build, and if I can have Vigilance active, obviously that's where this build is going to shine. Now let's get into the stats, because that's ideally what you wanna see. So if you look, we're sitting around 53% critical hit chance. I told you I wanted to be around 55, so we're right where we want to be there. Now we do have 155% critical hit damage, so that's why we're able to melt enemies. We have 85% headshot damage, so that also helps us out. But then look at this, we have that 14% armor damage just right on the LMG itself. And you do have to remember, we do have damage to targets out of cover on this build, and that's going to be right on the LMG itself. So if we go back and we look right here, we have the 12% damage to targets out of cover on the build. The reload time is 4.5 seconds, not too bad for LMG. 
25% accuracy, 25% stability. This really helps out. And then we have a 25% reload speed bonus. Ideally, that really helps the build out because having that extra accuracy and stability really helps out the build when you're trying to aim down. For the skills, you can run pretty much anything you want. I always feel like the striker drone is great for really the grabbing the enemy's attention sometimes they'll start focusing on the skill itself and that allows you to lay down that damage with this weapon so that's why i usually run it you can't run any shield with the lmg so that's one thing you have to remember with this but you can run any other skill you want now i do really recommend if you're going to run solo run the reviver hive or even if in a group you might want to run it too but um if you're not going to run the reviver hive then maybe just pick another skill and then just really run with that ideally reviver hive and then a damage skill is really going to help you succeed with this build and as you guys see i'm able to clear out this control point pretty easy no issues at all and i, I just and i really think with this build since you do have to play in cover a little bit more um the amount of damage the damage to armor really helps out and the fact that you can really capitalize with frenzy on this build it really helps out and I do really like striker with the LMGs because LMGs typically shoot a little bit slower, but they do hit a little bit harder. But since we're able to put that 5% rate of fire on the uh, magazine and then all, oh, sorry, the large pouch, and then we're also able to get that three piece striker, this really helps out the build and improves how this build really works. So if you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Remember, we do stream um, usually daily um, on twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills. And that'd be a great place to catch me live. We should be live later on today. So if you guys are watching this video today, most likely if you head over there, you can catch me live. And then that would be the best place to find me. But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for all the support as always. But as always, until the next Division 2 video. Hey, nothing but skills is out. Take it easy, everybody.